Using a jack or ramps, elevate the front of the vehicle. That was scary. <laughs> that was ultra scary. You almost ran off the front. I know. <laughs> right down here, there's a little lever. That lever will release the hood latch. After positioning the oil catch pan below, use a 15 millimeter socket to loosen the drain plug. Ooh, get that out of there. Let the oil completely drain out before replacing the drain plug. And tighten with the ratchet. He's got a great angular or channel lock pliers for removing the oil filter. Great stuff. Oh, let's sit this way. Yeah, it's this way. Dip a finger in the used oil and coat the new filter's black rubber gasket before installation. Hand tighten and then use the channel lock to tighten an additional uh, about one eighth rotation. In this vehicle, positionally, the filter makes a mess, so it's prudent to wipe spilled oil where possible. This engine takes about four and a half quarts. Before taking the vehicle down, I like to run the engine to verify there is no leaking. After you take it down, put the dipstick in, clean it off. That's just about perfect. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for a couple outtakes. Some, some trans fluid in. <laughs> it almost ran off the front. <laughs> Is a 15 wrench with oil pan and a ratchet. Go. Yeah, that was easy. A lot easier. Oh, let's sit this way. Yeah, that's it's this way. Yeah. Well, that dribbles. I'm gonna go grab uh, other stuff, like towels. 
What? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Get all the smells. It smells like somebody's barbecuing. When I do it, I use my own mix of herbs <laughs> and spices. <laughs> Oh, I saw a big chunk fall. <laughs> That's a blooper. <laughs> <God>. <laughs>